Jimin Qian, also known as Yadi Zhang, was a prominent figure in the world of cryptocurrency. Operating under the moniker Crypto Queen, she cultivated an image of success and wealth. Qian's journey began in China, where she quickly rose to prominence within the burgeoning crypto scene. She captivated audiences with her charisma and knowledge. Qian's star power grew as she promoted various cryptocurrency ventures. However, Qian's empire began to crumble when authorities started investigating her activities. Allegations of fraud and money laundering surfaced, casting a dark shadow over her career. The authorities accused Qian of orchestrating a massive Ponzi scheme. Qian's story serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the potential risks in the world of cryptocurrency. The case against Jimin Qian centers around allegations of money laundering through intricate cryptocurrency transactions. Authorities accuse her of using her knowledge of digital currencies to conceal the origins of illicit funds. They allege that Qian and her co-conspirators moved vast sums of money through a complex network of wallets and exchanges, making it difficult to trace the funds. The prosecution claims that these transactions were designed to obscure the illegal source of the money, effectively laundering it and integrating it into the legitimate financial system. The charges against Qian paint a picture of a sophisticated operation designed to exploit the anonymity and decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies. This case has garnered significant attention due to the sheer scale of the alleged money laundering scheme. Prosecutors believe that Qian and her associates laundered billions of dollars in cryptocurrency, making it one of the largest cases of its kind. The case has also raised concerns about the potential use of cryptocurrencies for illicit activities, putting pressure on regulators to strengthen oversight and prevent similar incidents in the future. To fully grasp the weight of the charges against Jimin Qian, it's crucial to understand the concept of money laundering, especially in the context of cryptocurrencies. Money laundering, in its simplest form, is the process of disguising the origins of illegally obtained money, making it appear legitimate. It's a serious financial crime with severe penalties. Criminals often use various techniques to launder money, traditionally relying on cash-intensive businesses or offshore accounts. However, the emergence of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin has presented new avenues for money launderers. The decentralized nature of these digital currencies, coupled with the anonymity they can provide, makes them attractive tools for those seeking to conceal illicit funds. Qian's case exemplifies how cryptocurrencies can be misused for money laundering. Prosecutors allege she exploited the complexities of cryptocurrency transactions to move and obscure the origins of illegally obtained funds. Her case highlights the challenges law enforcement agencies face in tracking and combating financial crimes in the digital age. Adding another layer of intrigue to Jimin Qian's case is her alleged connection to John Wen, who was convicted in 2018 for possessing a staggering 61,000 Bitcoin. Wen's conviction sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency community, highlighting the potential for large-scale cryptocurrency hoarding and its implications. Authorities suspect that Qian collaborated with Wen in her alleged money laundering scheme. The nature of their alleged collaboration remains unclear, but the link to a previously convicted individual raises questions about the extent of Qian's involvement in illicit activities. The prosecution may leverage Wen's conviction to establish a pattern of criminal behavior and strengthen their case against Qian. Wen's case serves as a stark reminder that while cryptocurrencies offer anonymity, they are not entirely untraceable. Law enforcement agencies are becoming increasingly adept at tracking cryptocurrency transactions and apprehending those involved in illicit activities. Section 5. The cryptocurrency community reacts, uncertainty and scrutiny. Jimin Qian's arrest and not guilty plea have sent ripples of uncertainty through the cryptocurrency community. The case has sparked debates about security and transparency, with fears of increased regulation. Advocates for stricter oversight argue for greater transparency and accountability. Proponents of a hands-off approach fear excessive regulation could stifle innovation. The outcome of Tian's case will impact the future of cryptocurrency regulation. Section 6. The Prosecution's Case – Tracing the Digital Trail the prosecution faces the daunting task of proving Jimin Qian's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, relying heavily on tracing the intricate digital trail of cryptocurrency transactions. 
they will present evidence of the alleged money laundering scheme, aiming to demonstrate a clear link between Qian and the illicit funds. The prosecution's case hinges on their ability to decipher the complex web of transactions and present a compelling narrative that connects Qian to the alleged crimes. They will likely rely on forensic accounting techniques and blockchain analysis to track the movement of funds, demonstrating how the money was layered and integrated into the legitimate financial system. Their success depends on effectively communicating the technical aspects of the case to the jury, ensuring they understand the complexities of cryptocurrency transactions and the alleged money laundering scheme. Section 7. The Defense Strategy Maintaining Innocence in the Face of Evidence Jimin Qian's defense team faces the challenging task of countering the prosecution's narrative and maintaining her innocence in the face of potentially damning evidence. They will likely employ a multi-pronged approach, challenging the prosecution's interpretation of the evidence and raising doubts about the alleged connections between Qian and the illicit activities. The defense may argue that the prosecution's understanding of the cryptocurrency transactions is flawed or incomplete. They could claim that Qian was unaware of any illegal activities and that the transactions in question were part of legitimate business dealings. The defense might also attempt to discredit the prosecution's witnesses or raise questions about the reliability of the digital evidence. As the trial unfolds, the prosecution and defense will present their cases, each attempting to sway the jury in their favor. Jimin Qian's fate hangs in the balance, with potential outcomes ranging from acquittal to a lengthy prison sentence. A guilty verdict on even one count of money laundering could result in significant jail time and substantial fines. Conversely, an acquittal on all charges would be a significant victory for Qian, allowing her to walk free and potentially rebuild her life. However, even in the event of an acquittal, the damage to her reputation and the scrutiny she has faced may have lasting consequences. The trial is expected to be lengthy and complex, with both sides presenting intricate technical arguments and calling upon expert witnesses to bolster their cases. The Jimin Qian case has attracted the attention of legal experts and cryptocurrency specialists alike, with many offering their insights on the complexities of the case and its potential implications. Some experts believe that the prosecution faces an uphill battle in proving Qian's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, citing the challenges of attributing cryptocurrency transactions to specific individuals. They argue that the decentralized and pseudonymous nature of cryptocurrencies makes it difficult to establish a clear link between Qian and the alleged money laundering activities. Other experts, however, believe that the prosecution has a strong case, pointing to the sophisticated nature of the alleged scheme and the sheer volume of funds involved. They argue that the evidence, if presented effectively, could be compelling enough to secure a conviction. Regardless of the trial's outcome, the Jimin Qian case has already significantly impacted the cryptocurrency landscape, prompting calls for increased regulation and oversight. Governments and regulatory bodies worldwide are grappling with how to address the unique challenges posed by cryptocurrencies, seeking to balance innovation with the need to prevent illicit activities. The case has highlighted the need for greater transparency and accountability in the crypto space with some advocating for stricter know-your-customer and anti-money laundering regulations for cryptocurrency exchanges and service providers. The outcome of the trial could influence the direction of future cryptocurrency regulations, potentially leading to more stringent rules and enforcement actions. Jimin Qian's case underscores the global nature of financial crime in the digital age highlighting the importance of international cooperation in combating money laundering and other illicit activities. Cryptocurrencies transcend national borders, making it crucial for law enforcement agencies worldwide to collaborate and share information to effectively track and apprehend criminals operating in this space. The case has also brought to light the need for greater harmonization of cryptocurrency regulations across different jurisdictions. Currently, the lack of a unified regulatory framework creates opportunities for criminals to exploit loopholes and move funds across borders with relative ease. Increased international cooperation and harmonization of regulations are essential to create a more robust and effective global response to cryptocurrency-related crime. 